Well, Greg, Eric, gentlemen, congratulations. You're moving forward in the third and final round of this competition. You get four days at your home forges to build another iconic weapon from the Wild West. Gentlemen, we want you to build this. This is the Vaquero Machete. The Vaquero Machete became widely popular with the original cowboys of the Southwest during the 20th century. Featuring a thin, slightly curved blade, the weapon was much lighter and easier to carry than the larger machetes previously used by the cowboys, making it ideal to deliver damaging slashes and chops on everything from brush to enemies on the great frontier. The rich history and culture of the cowboys who carried this weapon can be found on display at the Bullock Museum in Austin, Texas. So good luck. We will see you in four days. My name is Gregory McClure. I am 50 years old. I am from Tacoma, Oklahoma. Knife making has always been a deep-seated passion. My grandfather pulled me in when I was 10 years old. We found a piece of metal alongside the road, and ever since then, I started making custom knives. All right, she is cooking. Woo, like a June bride. OK. <laughs> Straight blade. Everything's coming out nicely. It's like it's supposed to. The gas foundry is what I'm going to be making the guard and the pommel out of. You carve the exact thing you want to cast out of foam. This is what it will look like when we get done. Then you pack it in green sand. Here we go. You ready? And as you pour the molten metal on it, it evaporates the foam and leaves you with the shape that you desired. That was good, guys. That's exciting. After a little bit of sanding, it looked great. The one thing you need to worry about with this kind of handle is not getting your pieces glued well enough. My competition's gonna be good, but at the end of the day, he's gonna bring his best, I brought my best, we'll see what happens. I think that'll work. My name is Eric Finch, I'm 20 years old, I'm from Harmony, Pennsylvania, and I've been bladesmithing for almost three years. When I first got into bladesmithing, I didn't have a lot of money, and my Uncle Chuck, he was super supportive. He got me my first anvil. He really had a lot of faith in me getting into this, and so being here it feels like it's uh, finally rewarding him for what he's done for me. My game plan is to start with Damascus. I'm gonna start out with 20 pieces, shooting for a 60 to 70 layer in the end. So I got my billets welded up and in the forge last night, got it quenched and in the temper for today. Thinking about starting working on the pommel. When I knew my dad and my brother were out hunting with the hawks, I had them stop over so that I could get a nice look at a 3D bird. My dad's been a falconer since before I was born, so I've always had hawks my entire life. It's very lucky that I'm able to incorporate this because that way I can do a direct comparison. I'm getting ready to go into gluing the handle. And then once I get all the cleanup finished, pretty much all I have to do is add an edge and it'll be done. And I'm really proud of how this looks. Howdy, partners. Welcome to the kill test. Your vaquero machetes look beautiful, but how lethal are they? To find that out, I'm gonna take your machetes and deliver some lethal blows on this big carcass. Greg, you feel lucky? Oh, very lucky. All right, let's do this. All right, Greg. The leather wrapping that you have here is nice and smooth. The handle is ovoid. The one thing though, that's just a lot of handle. And because you have a smooth handle right here, a couple of times my hand just slid down. But your edges are sharp. Those are razor sharp cuts. Overall, sir, you will kill. Mm, thank you, Doug. Eric, your turn. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's do this. Good 
Good job, buddy. Thanks, Ed. All right, Eric, let's talk about your Vaquero Machete here. What I like about it is that it just fits my hand perfectly, so it's locked in there. Now your edge, that's a chevron right there all the way up. Those are very sharp, deep cuts, even on thrusting. Overall, sir, you will kill. In here. <laughs> all the Vaqueros, welcome to our strength test, the fence board and skull chop. Ah! Hey, Greg, you're up first, you ready? Yes, sir. So Greg, right off, blade held up beautifully. This thing is just as sharp as when I started. Feels like a great fighter to me. Only complaint I have is that long handle. But other than that, the artistry is really well done. That's a joy to use. Nicely done. Thank you. Eric, you ready? Let's do it. All right. All right, so first off, Eric, very different grind on this edge with that secondary bevel, but it's wicked sharp, and it's still sharp. Held up fine. Didn't lose any blade at all. No rolls, no chips, nothing. It's still as straight as when I started. Good job. Awesome, thank you. Bladesmiths, welcome to the sharpness test, the gunslinger slice. Yeehaw. Greg, you're up first. You ready for this? Absolutely. All right, giddy up. Greg, nicely done. Those are very sharp, clean cuts on, I'd say, at least three layers of clothing. Your weapon, it will cut. Thank you. Eric, your turn, sir. Ready? Let's do it. Let's do this. All right, Eric, the edges are sharp enough to cut through all layers and expose some of the blood. Overall, sir, your weapon, you'll cut. Thank you. All right, gentlemen, well, I gotta say, both of you impressed us from the very beginning of this competition. The first two rounds, you guys crushed it. But in this competition, as you know, only one of you can leave here as a Forge of Fire champion and receive that check for $10,000. The Forge of Fire champion is... Eric. Congratulations, you did it. Well, Greg, I hope you had as much fun working here as we had watching you. That is an unbelievably stunning piece, but unfortunately, your time in this competition has ended. I want to say thank you for coming, but at this point in time, I'm going to have to ask you to please step off the forge floor. Thank you. I have no shame coming in second to this young man. The check would have been nice, the title would have been nicer, but remember, I'm still the fastest blade in the West. Well, Eric, you are the Forge of Fire champion, and you're receiving a check for $10,000. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> how are you feeling? Crazy. Never thought I'd be here at this young. I don't even know how to react. It feels surreal. From start to finish, it's been a crazy, crazy competition. And my uncle, he was probably my biggest driver to win it. Uncle Chuck, this was for you. 